Tonight on Unsolved Cat Mysteries, we are going to explore three tales. For every mystery, there is a clue. Perhaps you hold that clue. World War II, a time of confusion and desperation. But for one man, the friendship of a lifetime. Yeah, I was 18 when I was enlisted and I was sent to Penville, New Jersey. And they sent me there for advanced training in this new outfit, Feline 42 unit, which was a, an advanced idea. I found out that the Navy was using dolphins to search for underwater mines. And the Army, they were using monkeys to fly these little airplanes. Well, our assignment was quite different. His name was Wiggles, 18 months old. And at the time, I was 18 years old, but she was a lot older in terms of cat years. The jump was a very successful jump. We got right up to the German front line. Yeah, so I got up to the forward observation point and I let Wiggles go. We were told that the Germans were deathly afraid of cats. But, you know, that didn't turn out to be true. Hello, I love you. Hello, I love you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And that is when it fell all apart. Schnell! 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 Come on! Come on, come on, come on. You know, that was that. I spent the rest of the war in a sauerkraut factory in Liederbraut, and I never saw Wiggles again. That was 40 years ago. In terms of cat years, let's see, that would be, he'd be 600 years old. That is an old cat. I contacted the War Department and the Humane Society, but their records only go back so far, and that was it. Never saw Wiggles again. I'm wondering what happened. Three seconds after this broadcast aired, Bill Hoffner was contacted by Wiggles, now living in Pensacola, Florida. Jefferson County, Montana, well-known UFO hotspot. Notorious for the amount of small animals that go missing in the area, particularly cats. Could this be a connection to the UFOs? We have a trailer over here. Well, some of these guys just wander off and they never come back. And it is possible, unfortunately, that they are uh, eaten by some of the large predators, hawks, owls, coyotes, bobcats that live in this area. So it's possible that they could have been abducted. Well, in as much as that they, they're taken by large animals, bobcats, uh, mountain lions, uh, coyotes that live in this area. Taken? Taken by whom and where? by large animals that eat cats that live in this area. But these are conventional explanations that cannot be explained. But when photos like these surface... However, there exists a small but dedicated core of believers living in this area. So this alien thing, it's kind of flying down over by like the Statue of Liberty lady and it's all kind of woo, -woo. and I'm like what is this you guys seen this before and they're like you know I saw this TV show and it kind of had something similar kind of messaging but you know it's slightly different and it's kind of turning like a little reddish color and I'm like you know maybe it's like a media that's gonna hit us or something but I'm like no no I think it's the aliens because you know what they're out there somewhere and we're gonna find them someday or they're gonna find us when asked about their personal experiences some of their stories are shocking please be aware this future content is very graphic. Well, you know, that's a pretty good question, because this one time I was in New York, and I saw this cat, it went down this alleyway, and it never came back, and I kind of saw, like, this flashing light thing, so I don't know if it's like a homeless person trying to start a fire, or what it's doing, but I think it could have been a cat abduction, so that's a possible thing. No, but my brother-in-law told me some of his cows went missing. He had, like, about a hundred, but he's missing at least four or five of them. 
I personally have never seen an abduction, but I've heard so many stories, it has to be true. I, I don't ever want to live alone. I always have to have somebody around me because I don't want that to happen to me. I once saw a, a rabbit dr running across the street and all of a sudden it was gone. I don't know what happened to it. Still, one of the most strange occurrences was two unidentified aircrafts caught on tape shortly after nightfall. There he is! Look at this! Did you see that? Look at that! Look at that! Look at that. Look at that. I see. Our engineers managed to slow down the film in order to show in greater clarity these strange crafts. Based on my own experiences and the undeniable photographic evidence, I too am convinced of truth, of a cat UFO connection. I find solace in the indomitable spirit of these truth seekers. Baden, Florida, a missing cat and a desperate search leads to one pet owner's startling revelation. It was no different than any other morning. I let uh, Tiglet out. He takes care of his business. I guess it was around 3 o'clock and I started to see some other cats that I hadn't seen before. Tiglet seemed to know them, but then I heard this noise. Meow, this, uh, you know, like, meow. Meow! Meow! By the time I got to the window, Tiglet was gone and all the other cats were missing. By the, by the end of the week, Tiglet hadn't returned, so I started going through his things. After I found those things, I got really worried. What had Tiglet got himself into? I really got worried. So I started putting up flyers everywhere. One of those flyers paid off. An anonymous caller reached out to Lindsay, not only concerning the whereabouts of Tiglet, but with information about a catnip smuggling operation. Tiglet, he got into something he didn't understand, and he paid. This is how it works. A guy in Puerto Rico, he puts his stuff on a plane. Plane, he flies, maybe lands in Florida, sometimes like in Arkansas or something, but Florida's good. Then they give this stuff to people. Tiglet got greedy, and that's why they bumped him off. This lady, she's looking for a cash, she ain't gonna find him. I knew this guy, he worked for a fire department, right? He says, you know how many cats we pull out of chimneys? They're dead. They're like little cat mummies. He says like a hundred a year. That's no accident. The cats ain't stupid. They know not to go down in a chimney. Until Tigla comes home, there's going to be a kitty-shaped hole in my heart. There are thousands of mysteries, hundreds of unsolved questions. Perhaps you may hold the pieces to solve this mystery. Do <laughs> do